Let me explain the plan here. Why are all my doors open? Why is there a wire here? Well, previously I had this giant battery pack in my front. Now, that takes up a lot of space and it makes it super heavy in the front. So, what I'm going to do instead is, see this wire? See this wire? We're basically going to cut it and we're going to route it into the cabin. Once it's in the cabin, we are going to route it down through this channel inside of the frame. We are going to route it back here and then we are going to have it go through the trunk lining up here it's going to come out through here and then hopefully we can have it end up down here where i can mount the battery that means that this battery is going to have to power that and a few other things because obviously i didn't just get a big battery for my underglow that's what that cable is for it's going to power a refrigerator some other interior lights and a air fryer as well we got to see if we can charge this too now i don't want to take this out of my car every time i need to charge it so what i can do is trickle charge it off the 12 volt off the 16 volt outlet inside of here this power bank i'll have in the description below the like button is awesome because not only can you charge it through the dc input on the back you can also charge it through this USB C. it's an input and an output i bought this extending cable problem is it only inputs 12 volts and outputs 12 volts and our teslas are the new ones they have 16 volts so i want to make sure i'm getting the full voltage out of this extension to do this let me take the original anchor one i'm going to plug it into here and we're going to test what charge rate this gets so plugging the original into here we're pulling about 135 watts so if this outputs somewhere around 16 volts this is in the neighborhood of of about eight amps so 135 watts from here now let's see what happens if we take this out put it in here and then connect this into here will we still get the full 135 watts no we don't we only get 122 watts i believe the difference in power coming out of the car the 13 watt difference is just because of the length of the wire is about 17 feet i ordered another wire that was about 13 feet a little bit thicker as well and i gained about two to three watts back so i'm going to be using that wire because it's also cheaper. I'll have everything that I use in this video in the description below the like button. It's going to run out of here and we'll do it on the passenger side uh, so I don't have to look at it. We might sheath this. I'll probably cover this in some kind of black covering and I'll have this actually go out the back here. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. You see this trim piece kind of just pops off. So I'm going to have a way where this does not close all the way so it doesn't pinch the wire and it's going to go behind the trim piece and then down here and then through the floor mats and out the back. So we're again just going to use this just to test it and then i also have a usb c wire back here you see that it's going to run with this to charge this as well so we can remove this get this wire through at least i have the whole front tub removed and everything if you don't know how to do that there's a video in the description that i'll have on how to remove it super simple super easy we want to get through that little rubber grommet right there before we do that though we need to take this piece off and this little piece off right here that's just so we could bend this plastic a little bit it's really soft plastic that's going to allow us to get our hands in there a little bit better so we're going to remove these three clips and that again will allow us to move this plastic up and down and then we're going to go inside and we are going to remove some of the flooring and the paneling so that we can see where our wire is coming so this piece is going to need to come off you can use like a pry tool or something to get it off now if you want my recommended pry tool of choice it's going to be the ones that came with the sexy buttons and if you haven't gotten yours you can find those in the description they are awesome you should definitely get yourself a pair okay i forgot though you need to remove the weather stripping before you do this so sit right there for the weather stripping all you really got to do is just pull up on it so gently pull up it just sits in a groove so you're going to want to pull this up and off and honestly all of this is going to have to come up so you're going to actually or we're going to run the cable we're going to fish it through and run it along here that way we can get it to the back so let's take this rubber out this and from here this panel actually comes off super easy I'm just going to put it in here it should just be two clips and you might not even need that yeah so that one already came out and then pop that one off that was the top one from here you're going to want to remove this bottom part so let's actually move this rear seat back it's going to be a good idea so this one is being held in with another one of those clips right here you could use a knife or same pry tool and just pop that open and the rest are going to be clips inside of here this is one of them this is one of the casings right there that little black thing all you gotta do is pull up on it and i do have this little door sill protector this is probably gonna come off but you see that that's one of the clips it's another one of the clips you just heard it pop off pretty much it so all of this is just gonna come out and off so again you make sure you have that pin off so I went from the back and then this is just gonna come out just like that. 
So now you can kind of see there's a channel right here where the wires run under. But again, we're gonna run, we're gonna fish ours through back here and have it go along the back. We're gonna take the plastic out from there. Now from here, we have to go through this firewall. So let's let's take out this floor mat. Needs a good cleaning anyways. But the inside's clean, it did its job. So from here, we also have to remove this paneling under here. And you can see they're being held in by a bunch of clips. So let's go ahead and take these off. This is already kind of popping off, which is fine. So it's just four clips on the front. You're gonna want to undo those. And once you do undo that, be super careful because these wires are attached and they will rip if you pull it out too hard. But anyways, you see these right here, this little hole, these are for the these black clips. We'll look at that one. And you're gonna have to slide it forward to get it off that. Once you do that, uh, we can undo these if you want to. I think I'm gonna do it just for ease of room. And we should have access and we're gonna try to find the hole to fish our cable through. So we are trying to get into that grommet right there. It's kind of far, camera's not focusing, but we're going to poke a hole in that little thing right there. Maybe seal it later. Maybe put some hot glue around the cable. Hopefully that will seal it up a little bit. We don't wanna poke a hole in any of the wire. That means we have to see what we're fishing through. Oh, okay, the AC just turned on, or the battery cooling. So if I can reach my hand in here, I can't really show you on camera because it's not enough room but we're going to pull this out and I'll show you afterwards it's just a grommet that goes into a hole big rubber gasket let me come back once I get it out so my hands super dirty cuz we have gone through the firewall so this giant grommet right here you're gonna have to pull this out and the best way to do it is if you have someone help you you can take off this bracket and someone can hold up the front I didn't have that though so I have tiny hands you could just reach in here and just pull this out from the left side and then use your your right hand and pulls out from the uh, right side and this whole thing should pop off and that's just gonna make it a lot easier to route this cable through so I used these clippers to make an initial hole right here and we can probably seal this with a little bit of silicon or even hot glue would work you just gotta seal this up later it's not that big of a deal so you push into it and then you're gonna push harder and you're gonna make a second hole from there uh, you would pull this wire out this is just like cable like fence cable wire from there you're gonna pull that out and then you can use these screwdrivers drivers as well as like a knife to try to make the hole bigger uh, once you make the hole big enough fish this through it's best to have someone help you because you need to fish it through and also down at the same time there's a little bit of light coming in from the other side and that will help you kind of direct the cable but once you're able to do that come on this side and you see it's come out here now it's gonna come out from you can see I'm wiggling it. It's gonna come out from somewhere over on the right hand upper side. So just be aware of that. I had my friend wiggle the wire and then I was able to see it and I could grab it and slowly pull it down. Oh. So now cut the wire. We're just gonna attach this 12 gauge wire to the end of it and then we're gonna pull it through. So you gotta make sure your hole's big enough for the 12 gauge to go through. That's pretty much it. So now we wire, pass through. We're gonna cut this, solder it, but we'll do that after we run the cabling through the frame of the car. So you got the cable through, a lot of work. So we're gonna route it along here, but we need to take this panel out and we need to take these back panels out. All you're gonna do is just do that. Yep, and then pull it out and then just lay it over there. Just like that. Yep, that's exactly where we're routing the cables through. But we need to take the weather stripping out first. And this just sits on a track. So that just pulls out like that. And I don't know what that yellow thing is. But we should be able to just remove this. This is a protector. But I don't think that would have anything to do. I think you could just pull this off, right? Do you just route, you can route through here? Oh yeah, huh? Maybe we can just, maybe we don't even need to take this off. You see this little channel, this little part right here? Yeah. Let's try that. All right, we're going to try that. We're going to try to pass it through on this side and see if it comes out on this side. So it worked. We just pass through the wire in here and my comrade right here just grabs it and pulls it through. So now this wire is going to route through the back. You're probably going to need some fishing wire to get it back there. But once you get it out the back here, you're basically going to have it go through this carpet, which is super simple. And there's these little slits under the light. It's going to come out through here and then go into the trunk. All right. So once you get it through here, you're going to push it through back there. Have a friend come around in your trunk area. And you see this top part right here? Just have them pull it back and reach your hand in there fish out the cable and pass it through this slit that's how we did it now from here we're essentially gonna run it down this wheel well uh, i'll find some way to maybe like staple it or attach this more securely later but we're gonna run this down and this is literally just secured with velcro 
So we're gonna run it underneath through. We're gonna have it pass out through here and then just go straight into the battery. Glow. So now we're gonna put everything back together. You can see the cables routed in here. We're just gonna push this down. This is done. This is gonna go back in with these little cool clips right here. Keep in mind, the front USBs output more power than the back USBs, but I chose to go it out the back USB just because it looks better. I don't have to look at it. I don't really have passengers, so that might be a concern, but it's not my concern. So I routed it through here. You can't even tell. It goes underneath here, through here. We can close the front passenger side up and then close the front up. All we're doing right now is soldering the wires from my underglow. You can check that video. It's in the description below the like button. It's an awesome video on how to install it. It's, it's, they're super bright. They're awesome. I love them. We're basically going to cut that wire and we're going to solder it to the wire that we ran through the entire cabin so that I can run it straight into the battery. In the back, I have my underglow all good together. Now, what about these wires? They're dangling right here. I passed them through these little slits, but we can make it look even better. So instead of passing it through the slits, we're going to have it come along the back of this carpet right here you see this is where it's passed through it doesn't need to happen all we need to do is wire it down here I took this off it's just being held in by clips it's the part that goes right here you just got to be careful with the weather stripping when you're pulling it up pull it up gently and towards the car and then you can just easily pull it out and from there the carpet is kind of free and so I'm gonna just pass the wires down here and have it come out from right underneath here I'll have to remove that clip as well so just a clip here and just a clip up there hide the wires. And as you can see, there's absolutely no wiring anywhere. Everywhere is completely tucked, completely hidden. It's like nothing is even here except for my little hedgehog right here. So if we are able to lift this up, we can see the insides of it. Looking in here, everything looks pretty much the same. This could probably be tucked a little bit tighter. Uh, this possibly even, but everything is routed underneath my floor mat right here. I'll have links in the description below the like button to these awesome floor mats, but that's besides the point point is that i use these to help hide these wires so they actually tuck underneath the format and they run out underneath here they come through this board and they just go all the way back there the one clip i was talking about earlier is right here this top part falls off really easily so you're really you see it still moves a little bit you're really gonna have to push it in to clip it back in properly underneath here there is one more of those little pins under this once you get this off to remove the carpeting over there and that's pretty much it everything looks great the wires that come out from under here actually go down here and you don't have to take this panel off you can just stuff them underneath if you wanted to i'm sure you could easily just remove this panel and pop them out from down here which is what i might do in the future but for now this is enough for me so because i have this cover right here i need to put this down you can't really see the wires but if you lift the floor mat up you can see the wires coming out from underneath this panel now they go under the floor mat all the way to the center console. So you can just see it being carried along there. The USB-C one, and you can probably hide this a little bit better than me, uh, which I will probably do in the future, but the USB-C one comes out from right here and it goes straight to here. You might be able to use some clips or something to hold this closer, which is eventually what I'm going to do. And then this one right here, I will definitely tuck it a little bit tighter to this, but it's coming out of the center part right here. So what does that look like on the front side? So inside of here is where we're going to plug it in. That's where our 16 volt is. When I close this, you can see a little bit of gap in there, and that is how this cable is going to come out. It doesn't get pinched too much. It is still free to move, and I'll show you that right now. It's currently plugged in. Now, you do have to be careful with this because there is not much of a gap. You see right here in between this and this part is where you're gonna wanna put it. Let's gently close it and you can see how it gets pushed down on the inside, but there is still room for it. So you do need to leave it a little bit of slack so that it can move. And you can probably tuck this a bit closer, maybe underneath here, use some Velcro straps and put it down, maybe color this wire or put black over it. But anyways, if we close this like here, you can still see I'm able to move it. There's still some slack. So the wire is not being pinched. So this on its own is perfectly fine. It does look ugly. So you might want to change the color, but it completely works. Excuse the mess this is from a trip this will this will come out later don't don't worry about that and that's pretty much how i have everything wired